A program getting girls interested in coding and golfing is taking off in Westland. I'm not sure how the two go together. Uh, there's a lot, yeah, okay. here. For three years, middle school students learn how to code apps and get comfortable on a golf course. We went to the Jefferson Barnes Community Center in Westland to see how golf and coding can overlap. So what number do you think we should use? It's got to be something less than a thousand. Welcome to Girls Golf and Gadgets. It's been good at coding. Like you learn something new every single day. And that's one of the new things. And coding is a really good thing for like college application. These students spend the morning in class learning how to code apps. There we go. And spend the afternoon perfecting their swing on the golf course. I learned how to golf through this program. And like I now have played for three years for my high school team. And I went to States last year. So this program has really helped me and I feel like I could help a lot of these kids. So what do golf and coding have in common? What they're trying to do with the app this year is like uh, have the app measure how far away the golf ball is so they know which club to pick for their next shot. The program Girls Golf and Gadgets is a partnership between the city of Westland and U of M Dearborn. Coding the first couple of days they're very apprehensive about it just like on the golf course and we have students by about the third or fourth day, they say, you know, this is really kind of fun. First day, almost every kid comes in and says, my parents signed me up for this and I'm forced to do this. By the end of the program, every kid wants to come back for next year. Josh Richlicky is a computer science teacher and says programs like this strengthen the future of STEM. I teach high school computer science. I have very few girls in my classes, but when I teach middle school, it's almost all girls. So we were looking to kind of transition that and get them to their love of technology to kind of follow them through the grades. Here and there, she's super smart. She's 12 years old and is about to go to high school. She's a freshman in high school. She's and she's done coding for like, that proves that coding's for everybody. Coding is a good thing for everybody. We're learning about like all the different aspects in the coding app, so like the clock, sound, speed, we're learning like, it's not all about the co like app coding, it's just learning how to put it all together. I've always thought it was fun. A state grant through the Department of Justice funds the program. The nonprofit Wayne Ford Civic League covers the rest. Thank you for allowing us all to take part in this amazing opportunity. It's kind of met me a lot because I've never really played golf before. I enjoy seeing the response from the kids. Uh, it really comes back down to that. If you provide an opportunity for them to expand and grow their knowledge and, and their enthusiasm for just life in general, uh, that's all the reward we need. Aren't these students incredible? Uh, it, it blows my mind that they've found ways to incorporate yeah. STEM into almost everything now. Everything's a learning opportunity. That's right, you're building confidence in coding and on the golf course. Yeah. Girls Golf and Gadgets is open to everyone, by the way. You don't have to be a Westland student to apply. The program is looking to expand in the fall and winter months with various sports and STEM combinations.